What's going on guys, my name is David and today I'm going to be reviewing several weight belts for pull-ups and weighted dips that I've used in the past and try to help you guys out in selecting one that's best for you. Uh, so the one in particular I'll be talking more about is the Max Rank weight belt. So this is the belt right here and this is the chain that comes with it. Right now I have them detached but usually I have it on. Uh, so this is the one I purchased most recently, about like three months ago. And I got it because I lost the previous one I had, which was the Demus Fitness weight belt. Uh, and it looks looks like this. It's one of the top options on Amazon when you search up weight belts. And there's pros and cons to each of them. So starting with the Demus weight belt, the good thing about it is that the carabiners, the carabiners, this thing right here, it's... On the Demus one, it's thinner than this one is. And also the chain, the links in the chain on the Demus are a bit thicker. And that's a good thing because it's the perfect proportions for you to put the link in. I find sometimes with this one, there's a bit of trouble when I'm trying to put the link in and sort of move it around like this. Um, but on the Demus one, it's like perfectly proportioned it's a bit more functional, I would say, in terms of that. It might be easier to use. Um, also this one, the Max Rink one, has this sort of twist thing on the carabiner, which I'm not sure why they put it there. It doesn't really make sense to have it there. Sometimes it gets in the way, but I mean, for the price, this is like half the price of the Demus one. I think it shouldn't be too big of a problem. I just leave it untwisted. Um, so another thing I'd like to point out is that the max rank chain is a slightly longer than a Demos chain. Um, not by a lot, by like one or two inches, but the extra length is better when uh, you have to, say you're using multiple plates for weighted dips or pull-ups, it loops through the plates better and leaves them hanging a little bit lower. Uh, so that's a positive of the max rank. With a Demos one, it's slightly shorter, but you do have that uh, better functionality in terms of the carabiner and the chain. Uh, but in terms of the belt itself, in terms of the actual padding here, they're pretty much the same. Like the extra $20 of the Demus one, it's, I don't, I wouldn't say it's worth an extra $20. Um, if you guys search on Amazon for weight belts, there is, Another popular belt, the Jim Reaper Jim belt. It looks like this, like this right here. Uh, this is a popular option. I actually used this one several years ago because uh, one of my gyms, they had it just laying around and I didn't have my belt at the time. So I just decided to use it. Uh, so this one, I actually have a problem with because the chain is so short and so just to give you some context, there's two ways to use uh, dip belts. So the first way, I can demonstrate right here. The first way is to have the chain looped like this. So you put one end of the link in here. So it looks like this. So this is method one. You put the chain through the weights over here and then you put it up and it's hanging. The only reason it's hanging, it's staying on your body is because of the friction from uh, the weight. But I found that it slid off of my waist pretty often when I tried that, um, which led me to start using the second method. And this is the second method. Basically you put the link in first like this. So now it's not going anywhere. And then you loop it through the weight and you attach, you attach over here. So this is method two. And this Jim Reaper belt, the problem with the short chain is that the problem with the short chain is that there's no way to use the second method with it. You have to go with method one. So it's more prone to sliding off. And that was a negative for me. Um, but these other two belts, the chains are long enough where you can use a second method and it leads to a better experience when you're doing weighted pull-ups or weighted dips. 
So in conclusion, I would say go for the D Moose belt because the functionality is so good with the carabiner and the link attachment. But also it shouldn't be much of a problem to just um, buy the cheaper option as well. I don't think it makes that big a difference in the gym. So that's it for the review. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you guys want to check out the belts, I've linked them in the description box. Thank you guys.